Hello everyone, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up uh, Combat Ops Enhance 2 on Armour of Forger servers. Uh, this is the Dynamic Recon Ops mode, so it's a bit confusing to set up. I had a bit of a problem, so just thought I'd make a tutorial to show you how to do it. So once you've joined, set it up on your server. The first thing you want to do is hit the pause menu. Uh, then you're going to go to players and you're going to vote for yourself by pressing V to be the commander. This is very important because if you don't do this you can't choose your factions and the rest of it gets confusing. So once you've your commander, you're set up, um, then you can go continue and then continue here. Then press tab to open up the factions list and you've got control over the game here. So you can choose player faction, enemy faction, civilians, uh, you can choose enemy AI skill level, you can uh, choose respawns, time of day. You can actually change these some of these settings in a minute anyway, so I won't go into too much of this bit yet. Um, so what you can do is select US first company, yeah, pop yourself in the game. Uh, I'm playing on the Worthy Islands um, mod map. So once you're here, then uh, you can set up the game properly. So you can open scenario, choose your time of day, that will uh, change uh, the weather. For sunset, night, whatever. You can have weather, choose your weather. You want to fight him, etc. etc. So, what you're going to do next is go up to this map here. What you're going to do is go onto this and you're going to go select KO. Uh, now, like Dynamic Recon Ops in Armor 3, you're going to have all of your areas where you can operate in. We're just going to choose uh, Lutley here. And then on the right here, you've got the different objectives you can have. So, we're going to go for Find Intel, Kill Officer and uh, destroy vehicle. Uh, confirm that uh, and then next thing you need to do is generate the area. That will generate your um, op area of operation. Uh, so there we go, so that's coming up with our missions. And then the next thing you have to do is press M for mic or map uh, and that will bring up your map. Uh, so what we're going to do now is, is set our insertion point. Uh, and again, a little bit confusing um, if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, because it is, there's no UI for this really, so what you're going to do is click on where you want to do it, where you've got your normal map markers come up, then you right click in the, the center area here, and that switches to, you've got these options, I've got markers and commanding, go to commanding, and then on here, set insertion point. There you go, so that sets an insertion point up on this hill. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to go start building. So here you can actually uh, have in your AO, so we, you see we've got this, we've set ourselves up on this radar tower. You can give yourself a, a vehicle. Uh, even a helicopter if you wanted, you know, or a, a lav if you want to be insane and just tear everything up. Uh, until you get hit by an RPG. You can even give yourself a fire team. Um, these are also um, controllable as well, so you can actually give yourself a bunch of guys. I can actually plant them here. Let's see if we can get a smaller group of guys or something. Uh, two-man squad yeah. uh, these are controllable as well um, so once you've actually go into this area you can um, you can grab these guys and play with them on your team um, just by using the command menu um, and uh, yeah so then once you're set happy with your AO and set up then you can just hit deploy and that will fast travel you to that deployment location and here we are ready to start our mission there's our Jeep we placed there's our man, we're going to recruit him to our in. team. So he's going to now follow me. I don't know where the other guy going, but yeah. Um, and yeah, that's how you do it. Then you should be able to start your mission um, fairly straightforward. Thank you. Got any questions? Pop them in the comments.